Okay, two hour drive later, we made it to the trailhead. I am uh, solo dolo today. We're just doing a little day hike. Um, I'll be hiking the Park Butte Lookout today. It's just south of Mount Baker. So, it's a beautiful sunny day, so we should have amazing views today. It's about seven and a half mile round trip hike. About 2,200 foot of gain, so it's a pretty good little hike. I'm looking forward to it. Let's get out on the trail. starting to climb now feeling that burn Whew. feels good though we're almost to a thousand foot gain so far just under two miles so we're climbing we are climbing we have officially reached the snow level we're at 4400 feet elevation right now we still have about 1,200 feet to gain, so we're hitting snow pretty early. I imagine there'll be a good amount of snow up top, but snow won't affect the views. It's still gonna be fantastic views that way. Okay, the trail is pretty much entirely snow now. About 4,600 feet elevation. We still have a thousand feet to gain. That's Baker right there hiding behind these trees. Once we're up here further, we'll have an unobstructed view of it. It's gonna be spectacular. It's about two feet deep of snow. Definitely wouldn't want to step in there. That'd be one way to ruin your day. Fall in there and sprain your ankle. Okay, we're an hour and 15 minutes in. We've gained just under 1,500 feet, and we're just under three miles in. So according to the WTA, we should have about what, a little less than a mile left, that's it. And about 800 foot of gain. So I think we're getting pretty close. Okay, I just checked my maps on my phone because I felt like I was going on the wrong trail because I wasn't heading in the right direction. Come to find out I was heading down the wrong trail. I, I missed my turn probably about a quarter mile back, maybe a little more than a quarter mile back. So now I gotta backtrack a little bit and try to find that turn off that actually heads up to the lookout. So that's great. We just added about a half mile and probably a couple hundred feet of gain, but at least we found out and we can correct ourselves. So. I gotta go all the way up there. Whew. 
That's easy. Oh god. Okay, so I just gotta cross this snow field. And my trail should be down here somewhere. Here it is. Okay, officially back onto the correct trail. The turn off was back there somewhere in the middle of like a snow patch. And I just wasn't paying attention, I guess. Walked right by it. And went about a half mile the wrong way. <laughs> Nonetheless, we're back on track. Let's keep trudging towards that lookout. Alright, the last like half mile of this trail, and it looks like the rest of it too, it's just a straight up scramble through the snow. Like the trail is just not there. But we just came across this whole snow field and then up this. Baker's beautiful over there. But when I look on the map, like this isn't even the trail. Then I see the footprints continuing up this hill and then it goes up to Park Butte, which is up on this hill. And the lookout's like right there, but so I can see it. It's just a straight up scramble, man. Walking up steep hillside of snow. We're gonna get to that lookout, man. We're gonna get to that lookout. All right, we're on the final push. The lookout's just right here on this hill. We're almost there. Let's do this. Look at Baker, though, man. I've never seen Baker from this side. I'm always on the north side, so this is special seeing it from a new perspective. Just as beautiful as ever. We made it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Spectacular. Such a cool lookout. Look at this. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Just panoramic views, 360 views. Awesome. Look how steep that is. Just cliff, pure cliff. And then the magnificent Mount Baker. And then you can even see Mount Rainier way down there. And then all the cascades. So cool. <laughs> There's Rainier. All right, let's see if we can get inside this thing. Yep. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. And I have this whole place to myself right now, which is amazing. But 
this is an old fire lookout. They used to post people up here all summer long. You would just sleep up here and just look out for fires if there's ever a forest fire. Literally just sleeping right here and then waking up to Baker every morning. That is just incredible. This would be a perfect place, I think. Take a load off for a little bit and uh, have some food. Do I look sunburned right now? I probably got some sun with this snow reflection, but I need to put on some sunscreen before I head back down. But we made it. We are in the fire lookout. All right, just had a nice little lunch up here with a beautiful view. So it's a little past noon now, so I think I'm gonna start heading back to the car. It is getting really hot out. It is the day after the 4th of July, so I think today's high is gonna be like in the 80s. It's already getting super warm. I still have to hike four miles back to my car, and I kinda of wanna find a lake, maybe hop into Baker Lake, so. Goodbye, fire lookout. Thanks for having me. Goodbye, Baker. Thanks for having me also. Until next time. This is crazy. <laughs> Making progress. We were all the way on the top of this thing. Now we're here. I just wanna get out of this snow field though. I don't have any of the ankle coverings, so all the snow is just dumping into my shoes. Socks are soaked, the feet are freezing. Get me off the snow. Get me back to the car, please. <laughs> We are back to the car. I think I'm gonna make a cup of coffee. Okay, while we wait for the water to boil, I'll give you guys the stats on that hike. So it was just under nine miles in total. I did have that one mile detour though. Hiking time, just over four hours. I spent close to about an hour at the top, so about a total of five hours. Total ascent, a little over 2,300 feet. 
again we did have that one mile detour probably added like 200 feet or so total number of calories burned 1500 calories so it's quite the workout feels good to be done it is so hot i think i'm going to go down to baker lake it's just right down here and uh see if we can find a spot to jump in okay i'm gonna finish up making this cup of coffee then we'll get back on the road head towards baker lake Socks are soaked. Got so much snow in my shoes on the way down. Cheers. <sighs> much needed, man. I'm tired. Been up for been up for ten hours already. It's not even two o'clock. Okay, we just got to Baker Lake and the sun is blaring. It feels so good. I think I'm going to take the paddleboard out. So I'm going to go pump it up and we're going to get out in the lake. Baker Lake. Wow, look at this. It's incredible. Doesn't get much better than that. Such a beautiful lake. Actually, I actually haven't been to Baker Lake since I was a kid. My grandpa took me up here once to go fishing on his boat. We were really young, me and my brother. We we're probably like eight years old maybe. That's probably the last time I was on this lake. So 22 years ago probably, which is ridiculous that I haven't been back up here because, I mean, look at this. <laughs> it is insane how beautiful this is. So this is a huge reason as to why I can't leave Washington in the summer times because summers here are quite literally unbeatable. I mean, look at the color of this lake. It's so blue. It's like emerald green almost even. Fantastic. My heart is incredibly full right now. Glory to the Lord above glory to our Lord and Savior for creating this man God is incredible God just created this beautiful place for me to enjoy it gets me every time man it's just truly truly incredible glory to him glory to him I think I'm gonna paddle up and down the shore, try to find a place to jump in. Okay, I think this would be a good spot to jump in off this log. So I'm gonna try to beach the paddleboard on this log and then we'll hop in. All right, got the paddleboard on the log. Beautiful view. Let's get in the water. Oh, that feels so good. It's so hot out here. I got all that sweat on me too from the hike. Ah, it feels so good. Doesn't get much better than that. This lake is like the perfect temperature right now. The water feels so nice. Beautiful views. Summertime in Washington. Can't get over how beautiful it is. The 
this might be my new favorite paddleboarding lake in Washington. The views are just insane. It's really similar to like Mount Hood, the lakes around Mount Hood, but I think Baker is just way more impressive. But I'm gonna keep catching some sun rays and then I will see you guys when I'm back to the car and we'll be wrapping the day up, unfortunately. I hate when days like this have to end because this day was absolutely spectacular. The epitome of a summer day in Washington. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna continue to enjoy it for now. And I'll see you guys back at the car when I'm done paddleboarding. Back to the car, deflating my paddleboard, making a cup of joe for the road. And then I'll meander my way back home and I'll complete the day. It's been a beautiful day so far. Cheers. With the cup of joe, I'm gonna start making my way back home. So that is gonna do it for this adventure. That is gonna do it for this episode. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for being here. Yeah, summer's just getting started here in Washington. July 5th, so much summer left. So looking forward to all the adventures to come. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.